once again we are back on Ignite Sports ki T Talk train of thought with a series of an episodes from the expert from the industry who comes and share their experience so that through the experience that target audience are meaningful learning by now we had 75 plus corporates on this T Talk show where they have shared their journey word of wisdom uh, as per the aspects of leadership entrepreneurship women empowerment and various diverse topic what we have covered on T Talk Ignite Sports ki and today T Talk have completed 600 of uh, videos which are live and we are fortunate to have dr patha mukherji who is a board director with mahindra aerospace and gift saro and is also management educator in the various university in australia so welcome to tiktok ekman soch ki thank you very much my pleasure or oh, thanks a lot for spending a valuable time and we are so fortunate enough to have On our board, once we have completed six hundred uh, videos, went live like. That's commendable. Yeah, it's very good. And uh, so now, in fact, uh, the concept of this tea talk live, where we share a journey mm-hmm. uh, of an expert, so that the uh, target audience has meaningful learning. So, for the benefit of a target audience, can you please take us through the journey of your from education to the start of an of your career? Oh sure, why not? Uh, uh, I I I did my schooling in Kolkata. Mm-hmm. uh i was a national scholar uh in the high secondary board exam that mm-hmm. time it was class 11 mm-hmm. uh then i got into iit kharagpur mm-hmm. i finished my engineering from there and then i went to iim mumbai mm-hmm. i did two years of uh, masters in uh, management mm-hmm. uh and then i started working I uh, but much later uh i went to australia and then completed my phd from university of new south wales mm-hmm. and parallelly i also did uh, my graduation in corporate governance mm-hmm. from the australian institute of company directors mm-hmm. and i also had to do uh, some skills training uh, qualifications like on project management in mm-hmm. australia mm-hmm. Uh, because i also teach project management uh, to various professionals mm-hmm. on the skills part I see. So, uh, very briefly, that's that's the education background. Good. I think it's over forty-five years of an uh, rich experience into the corporate and into an education, and I'm sure through this conversation, the target audience will draw meaningful learning. Uh, so, what is that uh, which attracted to you, uh, you to the field of an uh, the commercial business and then into education? Yeah. So, I think education is a uh, fuel for any business. Mm. So. uh it goes hand in hand without the knowledge and education without the skills you cannot excel in mm-hmm. any organization mm-hmm. so i was lucky to be educated by some great professors and mostly great school teachers mm-hmm. so i was always inspired by their dedication mm-hmm. uh how they shaped our life at the very young age mm-hmm. when i was in school and i can speak on that for hours but just to give you some small insights uh some teachers school teachers actually came home just before my high secondary exam mm-hmm. and told me they're going to give me free education free coaching so that I can do better in my life and mm-hmm. better in the board exam mm-hmm. some teachers like maths teachers they came home taught me all free and then sometimes they slept in our home and got in the next morning out to help other students mm-hmm. so these are very inspiring uh, events of my life when i saw the dedication of the teaching profession where mm-hmm. selflessly they are educating very young people and me shaping their life so mm-hmm. i always thought that i must give something back mm-hmm. because those profess those teachers are not there anymore mm-hmm. so for me it's very important that i give it to the next generation So we pass it on. What I received, I pass it on to my next generation. Mm-hmm. So teaching is more like a thanksgiving or a passion, mm-hmm. uh, and of course, uh, for your livelihood, mm-hmm. you have to be in the in the business uh, world. So yeah, like I that. was, uh, I was there in so many companies, uh, uh-huh. from the management trainee right up to the board level. So now, in fact. Uh, you in fact uh, you were too good in school like we you first then you were part of an imm mumbai the then karpur iridia engineering from there and uh, then at the top of a ladder like uh, at particular point of a time were there any blueprint of your career which you have made while you were uh, part of your uh, uh, the saying uh, management related courses 
really speaking it all happened i didn't have a blueprint i didn't have a destination i mm. think uh, most of our lives i believe strongly that there is a divine planning which we just execute mm -hmm. i took biology in class 9 uh, mm. because my mother was very keen that i go and do into get into medical profession mm -hmm. but one month before the medical entrance examination results were out mm -hmm. i was already into iit kharagpur and my ragging period was over i was enjoying i see and therefore when the telegram came from my mother oh you got admission into the medical college in calcutta mm -hmm. uh, please come back i actually wrote back to my mother saying that look i'm very happy in iit let me be an engineer yeah. and not a doctor mm -hmm. so i don't know how that happens but i think it happened uh, naturally same thing when i graduated from iit kharagpur mm -hmm. I got admission in the US universities more mm -hmm. than one universities with scholarships mm -hmm. and majority like 80% of my classmates were going to US mm -hmm. for further studies mm -hmm. so I was almost packing my bag mm -hmm. and and then parallelly I got into IIM Ahmedabad which was not at all in my radar mm -hmm. but when I got admission in IIM Ahmedabad my mother said that why don't you stay back Mm -hmm. in india rather than going to us okay. uh so i said okay let me stay back Good. so so if i reflect back everything which has happened in my life i strongly believe it was a design of a larger infinite intelligence if i may say so okay. uh rather than me really choking out uh and i will strongly recommend that to most of the new generations mm -hmm. that follow your passion Mm -hmm. go with your intuitive uh, directions mm -hmm. uh, because intuition is a means for the divine to actually help you decide and of course you should have uh, good mentors and uh, you know people who you can rely on career advice yeah. so i give a lot of career advice to the young people as you mm -hmm. know i teach in the universities in australia mm -hmm. when i was in india i taught in various uh, universities and institutions mm -hmm. from iim calcutta to uh, jamnalal bajaj mm -hmm. narsi munji right. sp jain so so the students come to me and i give them the same advice and i think that's what uh, i want to give it to the audience that follow your passion and also make sure that you have a good mentor who advises you appropriately someone who is wise someone who is not intelligent but someone who is wise to give you the right direction of your career path yeah. and dr bartha many times if we see uh, today's uh, parents like you know they are so much concerned about their uh, children education like you know they are very push pushy like they have to score they have to score mm -hmm. and they all in the rat race of uh, really scoring without making the base more stronger Uh, no as in your career like uh, it was a passion and uh, you committed it want to get into engineering mm -hmm. i'm sure i think uh, the target audience are listening to you may get inspired the way you went at with your career like mm -hmm. and uh, so what was the challenges which you faced uh, like you know during that particular period like and was it you were self driven or uh, somebody was hand holding at that point of in time uh, during the ed education period yeah, yeah yeah the education period was fun we were all young and i think everyone who is uh, in that school or college uh the, the primary activity is you know something to enjoy life mm -hmm. uh, so i was no no different mm -hmm. uh, but one thing was always in my mind uh, that you should be also focusing on your education because that's the foundation for your future success mm -hmm. so while we had fun i always made sure that i attended 100% of the lectures Mm -hmm. and uh, that's what i tell my children that look whatever you do compartmentalize each activity and when you're doing that it should be 100% focused mm -hmm. so when i am a student in the university i will try and sit in the first bench mm -hmm. i will try and engage myself with the lecture and the lecturers mm -hmm. but when i'm out i'm switched off completely i am in the football field mm -hmm. and i'll be fully focusing on my soccer I was representing IIT Kharagpur in the team IIT Kharagpur team mm -hmm. uh, right from the day one mm -hmm. so all 5 years I was in the soccer team so I was nice. focused over there nice so that's what my suggestion to everyone will be that whatever you do 
Yes, for that is. moment, you focus 100% and give your best. Yeah. You only try for excellence, but don't worry about the results. Mm -hmm. Whether it comes, doesn't come, doesn't matter. But at least you are giving your best. Yeah. And many of the target audience who are listening to Dr. Partha Mukherjee, like you will see uh, right from school, like he was topper, then he went to IMM, uh, they saying IIT Kharagpur, then to IMM Ahmedabad, and then uh, was a part of various substantial commercial businesses and the complex pro uh, projects across three countries. I'm sure like if you're committed, well focused, I'm sure you can make your career like uh, what Dr. Partha is today at the uh, top of a pyramid. Uh, Sir, now, in fact, uh, what brought uh, you to this amazing place like uh, you are right now, like, you know, if you see your journey and where you are now, like, you know, how, how you're seeing the world down, like? Uh, if you're talking about my journey again, I I went to Australia without really any plans over there. Mm -hmm. I was very comfortable doing what I was doing and uh, I reached the pinnacle of my career. I was a director in the board, you know, power, money, salaries, everything was there. But I think, uh, again, the divine plays a very important role in all of our life. Right. If you're connected, you know, there's a purpose why someone wants you to do something. Yeah. So that was a calling from inside that uh, I have my Lord and Master who guides me spiritually. So the calling was there to go to another continent and do something completely different. Yeah. Because life is about experience. Life is not about only achieving myopically in one area or one field. Mm -hmm. So probably my calling was that uh, I need to relocate myself and experience that part of a journey of a migrant to a new country. Mm -hmm. How do you do it second time? You know, once mm -hmm. once in India you've done it and uh, second time can you do it? And I think yeah. today reflecting back, I think I'm happy that I took that plunge, I had the courage, I had the conviction and I did it second time again. Good, great. I think it's an excellent insights and a rich experience of Dr. Pata Mukherjee. The way he was committed right from his school days at each and every level, he was very much focused. And uh, after 40 plus years being into these uh, commercial businesses and handling the uh, complex project across the three continent, it's a great insight. Uh, the story what we're getting uh, from Dr. Pata Mukherjee exclusively on TikTok. I'm sure like uh, do catch up with Dr. Pata Mukherjee now next episode of ttalk ek bun soch ke till then go to www.ttalk.net subscribe like the channel as much as you can so thanks a lot for being part of this show thank you very much god bless you thank you thank happy you. listening